flesh. Oh, mighty God, pour down upon us today like never Amen. before. You have done it yesterday, but today is a different day that we really Amen. need God to hear Amen. from you, your manifestation Amen. and your power, your divine anointing that will break every yoke, destroy every plans of the adversary today. Lord, everyone that comes on, God, let them come, Lord, come with their cups, uh, oh God, lift it up so you can speak to us. Because if we don't hear from you, what will we do? Let no flesh glorify in your kingdom today. Let no flesh exalt itself, but let every flesh come under your authority, under your spirit, under your anointing, God. That you can break yoke today. Loose us, God. Set us free, God. Set our minds free from the bandage, Lord God, of everything that entrapped us. And Lord God, let us mind be stayed upon you today. Lord, and after we finish today, God, we can say it was good for us to be, Lord, upon this platform for our soul is excited and we're energized. We can rejoice, God, in your full and free salvation. So speak to us today, we ask. And as we open this platform, God, let the Holy Ghost minister to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can we just open our microphone and just give the Lord a word of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. You are great. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise yes. the King of Kings. Praise the Lord of Lords. Praise the conquering lion of the tribe of the one who is and the one is to come. Majesty, kingdom, authority, your rule and your reign. Jesus, Son of the living. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Be going. Hallelujah, glory to you. What will we do needing you more each day? Show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live. We're going to do that again. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, Lord, what will we do? Needing you more each day. Show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live. Brother Lando, are you ready to pray? Hallelujah, we need to hear from you. We need a word from you. 
If we don't hear from you, Lord, what will we do? Needing you more each day. Show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live. There is no other way that we can live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Brother Landor, are you available to pray? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. Yes. Bless. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't hear you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anybody else are available to pray this afternoon? Hallelujah. There is no other way that we can live. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we need to hear from you. Hallelujah. Go Thank ahead. You, Hallelujah. Um, go ahead, Winston White. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God. Minister White, Amen. go ahead. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your wonderful name this afternoon. Much work in God. Lord, we lift up your name. We glorify you, Jesus. Lord, we give praises unto your holy name today, Father of God. Lord Jesus, as we lift up our eyes and our heart and our mind to you today. Lord, we glorify your wonderful name, dear Jesus. Lord, we ask of you today, God, that some one of us, somebody mighty God will feed, will get some word, will get something in their soul, mighty God. We ask of you, Jesus, that mighty God, you will move us out of the way, God, and you show up and show out. Mighty God, fill us up with your glory. Fill us up, Jesus. Mighty God, energize us, oh God, afresh. Oh, mighty God, we ask of you, Jesus, that as we come with our vessels, Lord, let, oh God, let that leave, mighty God, with empty vessel. But Lord, we just ask that you will fill us up, oh God, that we overflow, mighty God. Enough, Jesus, that we can participate unto someone else. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, today, God, as we humble ourselves before you, we just ask of you, mighty God, mighty God, to give us the victory. Give us the victory, Lord Jesus. And give us the power of Almighty God to move forward into our daily life. Father, we give you all honor, glory, and praise. Oh, Lord Jesus, I bring before you right now your woman servant, mighty God, almighty God, will bring, oh God, whatever you give her to give unto us. Lord, we ask that you will speak to us and speak through us, God. Mighty God, we are here waiting with our hungry stomach. So just ask our God for a total infilling. Fill us up, Jesus, in your mighty and wonderful name, I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Simone, hand is up. Bless God. Pastor says. Oh, let me God. Hallelujah. Bless them. Hallelujah. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We just come to lift him up. Just come to honor him, to magnify him today. Uh, for he is worthy. Hallelujah. 
bless the name of the Lord, eternal heavenly Father. We just lift you up. We just honor you. We just glorify you. Thanking you, oh God, that you are the beginning and you are the end. You are our source. You are our reason for living. And mighty God, this evening, oh God, we come to elevate you. We come to exalt you. We come to place you at the forefront. For Lord, without you, we are nothing. Without you, oh God, we neither here or there. But Father, we come, oh God, knowing that, oh God, God, you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, knowing, oh God, that you are mighty to save. Oh God, knowing that you are the beginning, the end, the author, the finisher, the creator, my hiding place, my safe refuge. And Father, this afternoon as we come, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you will sanctify this platform. Touch each and every one, mighty God, that will connect and log in this evening that lord god that you will be rich uh your presence will be richly felt uh god all over this place uh, i pray lord god that you will be at the forefront that you will guide you will order oh god our steps according to your word mighty redeemer i'm asking you oh god that you will release uh, oh god a special anointing lord release uh, a special touch among your people that father god as we come we will come with a mind to worship a mind uh, uh god that is dedicated Dedicated, uh, oh God, to kingdom principles and kingdom building. Mighty Redeemer, I pray, Lord God, that you will oh, take uh, oh, every part of us, take self uh, and crucify our flesh this evening. That, Lord God, that we will die and you will reign. That, Father Thank God, you, that you will go before us. That, Lord God, you will continue to lift us up uh, and place us on the rock uh, on which we will remain firm. Oh God, rooted and Amen. grounded in you. Mighty Redeemer, I'm asking you, oh God, that you will touch our oh God, every individual this evening. Oh God, touch us in our circumstances, our environment. Amen. I pray, Lord God, that you will give us a renewed mind, a renewed spirit. That, Lord God, as we come together, Lord, we will come together in unity, on one accord, knowing, oh God, that you are our Father. You are Amen. our Savior, our Redeemer, our Keeper. And I pray, Lord God, that you will turn everything around oh God for our good as long as we look to you I pray Lord God that we will not be overwhelmed or overtaken or overthrown in our circumstances Amen. but Lord God that we will lift up our voices and know that you are awesome we will know that you are our creator our helper our shield mighty God and fathers this evening Lord we give you all the glory and all the praise Lord our hallelujah belongs to you and I pray Lord God that you will be at the forefront of that, Lord God, you will move, oh God, into every home, uh, every screen, everywhere we are located right now. I pray, Lord God, that, Lord, we will have an, a fresh encounter with you. That, Lord God, you will bring us to the place, oh God, where, oh um, my God, we are no longer the same, but we are changed. Oh God, that we will know, oh God, that you are above, oh God, all our problems, all our situations. And I pray, Lord God, today that you, oh God, will be glorified. Father, you you will take our oh my God that you will sit upon us today Lord God that we will lift up a oh God a raise up a standard amongst your people that Lord when we come Lord God we will have the right attitude having the right oh God spirits oh God that we will be used by you help us to be available right now oh God and I ask Lord that you will send fire oh God to this platform Hallelujah. and fire to every household mighty redeemer <laughs> that Lord God whatever Oh God, stands as an hindrance or a blockage. I ask that you will remove it now. Lord, Amen. that you will be a part. Oh, mighty Redeemer, that it will have no root. It will have no residence in our lives or at the forefront of what we are doing. But mighty God, I'm asking mm. you tonight, oh God, that you will send revival, oh God, in every situation of our mm. lives, emotionally, physically, uh, financially, oh God, spiritually, yes, God. whatever it is, every alley, oh God. I pray, Lord God, God, that you will send our uh, restoration and revive us from our dead state. Father God, that we will look to you Jesus. and continue to push in the spirit, uh, knowing, oh God, that it's Jesus. a requirement that, Lord God, that you deserve our worship and our praise. Mighty God, I'm asking you, Lord God, for overflow. Open the windows yes, of heaven God. tonight, oh God, and let it rain upon your children. Oh God, every need, oh God, you said you will supply. And Lord God, we want to 
to remain confident in knowing, oh God, that you have got every one of us in the palm of your hand. Yes, Lord, that so. we need not to fear or worry ourselves because you are on the job tonight. And Father, I'm asking you to take control, to take charge tonight, oh God, the moderator. Oh God, the speaker, the word that will come forth. Oh God, each and every participant tonight on this platform. I pray, Lord God, that we mm. will be one mind. Oh, moving in unity and in sync. Oh God, according to your will. Lead, oh God. Hallelujah. Done, Father God, as it is in heaven, mighty Redeemer. Oh God, that we will just lift up a, a praise. Oh God, that we will give you all the glory, that we will Amen. give you all that is within us, oh God. Give us the unction to function, Lord, according to your word. And I pray, Lord God, that you will release, ah, my God, the spirit of deliverance. Oh God, whatever has us bound and tied mm -hmm. up. Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that there will be a releasing now, a releasing for worship, a releasing to praise. Lord Hallelujah. God, as you turn everything over into your hand. Father God, we come against sickness and disease. Oh God, we curse it and send it back to the pit of hell this afternoon, Amen. this evening. Jesus. And pray, Lord God, that it will be well. Lord, release, oh God. Oh God, your healing balm, oh God, to every individual who may be feeling oppressed and depressed, are in pain, oh Amen. God. Any ailment that is going on in the body, Lord God, we come against it and plead your blood of Jesus Lord that will flow for Lord we know that your blood flows from the highest mountain to the lowest valley Hallelujah. and there is no depth or no height that you cannot reach my God so Father Thank I you, lift Jesus. up each if any individual today that is under any bondage any circumstance oh God that has got them overwhelmed or crippled or delayed in their assignment or their movement I pray Lord God that you will bring them back to wholeness sound mind ah uh, he healing in their body, mighty Redeemer, that, Lord God, that they will continue to push, continue to hold to your unchanging hand, knowing that you've got them. Mighty God, I pray, Lord God, that you will just sanctify each and every one of us, sanctify this platform tonight. And I pray, Lord God, that your angels, oh God, will be dispatched to work on our mm. behalf. Father God, as we continue to go, as we continue to hold on, Lord God, being determined to hold out to the end, help us not to to be distracted or to be conformed to this world but lord renew us in our mind tonight that father god uh, all the glory and you will be praised everything belongs to you oh god and father i tell you thanks i'm thanking you oh god for what you're doing i thank you for what you're about to do oh god and for what you've already done father god i give you thanks i just commit this platform and each and every one into your hand another time oh god i pray that you will have your way as I tell you, thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name the Lord. of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy, oh God. Hallelujah. You are excellent, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to do this song. Hallelujah. I'm going to do this song and then we are going to be um, taking two more prayers. Our speaker is here and up and ready. Hallelujah. She's looking really lovely this afternoon. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let your living water flow over my soul. And let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation. That have troubled my mind, all my cares and burdens on to you. I roll, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bye. Let your living water flow over our souls. 
Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled our mind. All our cares and burdens unto you, our all. Jesus, 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 sing to the Father, 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 come now, Holy Spirit. And take control. Hold us in your loving arms and make us all. Wipe away all doubt and fear and take our pride. Draw us to your love and keep us by your side. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Father, 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 Spirit, Spirit. Give your life to Jesus. Let him feel your soul. Let him take you in his arms and make you whole. And as you give your life to him, he'll set you free. You will live and reign with him eternally. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's talk to the Father. Father, Father, Father. Fresh your spirit, 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 spirit. Let your living water flow over our soul. Let your Holy Spirit come, Lord, and take control of every situation that has troubled our mind all our cares and burdens unto you we roll all our cares and burdens unto you we roll Hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> Bless the Lord, hallelujah. We want to take two more prayers, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Can go ahead and unmute your mic. Bless the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to God, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God. We have... Thank you, Come into with just praying and praying for the platform, whatever the spirit of the Lord leads you. Let me just do this. We have come into your house. We are gathering your name to worship you. We have come into your house. We are gathering your name. To worship you, we have come into your house. We are gathering your name 
to worship Christ the Lord. Worship Him, Christ the Lord. Let's forget about ourselves, concentrate on Him and worship Him. Let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on Him and worship Him. Let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on Him and worship Christ the Lord. Worship Him, Christ. Our Lord, go ahead, Minister Jason. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we worship and adore you. We magnify your great name. You are awesome and wonderful this afternoon. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor. Lord, as I come before you this afternoon i give you glory and honor and praise you are wonderful you are excellent lord i am thanking you lord that you are the prayer here in god lord i thank you that when we come for you lord our prayers are not in vain and lord your word admonishes us to pray without ceasing you say men are all ought always to pray and not to faint. Lord, Hallelujah. sometimes it seems a bit as if nothing is happening. But God, you have your time to come through. You have your way of working things out, almighty Hallelujah. God. And so this evening, Lord, we have been praying and praying and praying. But this Thank evening, Jesus. I am thanking you, Lord Jesus that you are the God who hears and answers prayer. God Almighty, and there are times, God, when, yes, you have us to wait. Oh, God Almighty, we only ask you for the patience of unanswered prayer. Lord, the patience, Lord, for when you tell us to wait, sometimes we find it so difficult to wait. We want it just in time. We just want it like a push button situation, oh, yeah. like a microwave situation. But this evening, Lord God Almighty, I thank you for the enduring grace and the blessed Holy Spirit whom you have sent to us to keep us and to help us to realize, Lord, that you care about us, you're concerned about thank us. Jesus. Mighty God, thank I you. thank you that you are not a disappointment. And though it seems rough and hard at times, God, the songwriter says the road is rough, the going is tough. Hallelujah. But I've decided to make Jesus my choice. Father God, you didn't promise us a bed of roses. So we know that we will have to go through. Lord, but the good thing about it is that you're there with us. And you promised not to give us more than we can bear. And so this evening, Lord, I am thanking you for being the faithful God that you are. Faithful, faithful is our God. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Even when we are unfaithful, you remain faithful, almighty God. And so, God, your faithfulness is our confidence. That is our confidence, your faithfulness. Because, Lord, you will not go back on your word. Lord, you magnify your word above your name. And so when we come before you and we claim these promises and we use your word in our prayers, God, we thank you that you will come through for us. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this platform. I thank you, Lord, for everyone who is a part of it. 
for your servant, Sister Nelly, that you used, Lord, to raise it up by the working of your spirit. And Lord, for everyone who have come on, Lord Jesus, who have been a part of this fellowship, this online ministry, this prayer ministry for some time now, I thank you, Lord, for what you have been doing. I thank you for the growth. I thank you for the development. I thank you, Lord, for your people that you have been using on this platform. I thank you, Lord, for the preachers. I thank you for those who share the devotions in the morning. And I thank you for those, Lord, as servants of God that have come on in the afternoon and have imparted your word, Lord. Father God, we thank you for the inspiration that you've given. We thank you, Lord, for the knowledge, for the wisdom, for the understanding. We thank you, Lord, for ministering to the hearts of your people. Lord, oh God Almighty, sometimes a word comes. And Lord Jesus, it just comes just like that because you know the needs of your people. And Lord, we can hear some share their own testimony, Lord. Oh God Almighty, some have shared their testimony, Almighty God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God, Lord Jesus, of all your moved on their behalf. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you have moved on their behalf. Oh, you have come through. And so, God, I thank you for the undiluted word that you allow to be preached and taught on this platform. I pray for continued. Lord, development and growth and the anointing to be present in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. And that, Lord, the enemy will be put to flight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We know, God, when your people make declarations in your name, Lord, when they bring the word, then the enemy doesn't like it. God and he will fight. But God, we are placing everyone and everything into your hand. And we are believing you this evening, God, to fight the battles for us. Hallelujah. To expose the enemy. God, I thank you for exposing the um, enemy in whatever form he comes. You know, Lord. Because your word tells us that he will come as an angel of light. Mighty God. And he, as though he is a roaring lion. But God, you know when he, Lord Jesus comes as the angel of light, you are able to discern him. So God, I pray that you continue to open the eyes of your people so that the enemy will always be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you for the victories that you've wrought. Hallelujah. I thank you, mighty God, for the many souls that you've blessed and ministered to, Lord, by your spirit on this platform. I ask that you continue to take charge, Lord, and lift the faith of your people that, Lord, none will become discouraged, but that, God, each person, God, will stand up and be courageous, almighty God. Lord Jesus, we know the enemy will move at times to cause your people to be discouraged. Hallelujah. But, God, we pray for, oh, God, almighty strength, and, oh, God, that your people will be very courageous, Thank and you. we'll be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Lord, we just trust you to continue to speak to our hearts. And I pray, God, that when the word comes on this platform, mm -hmm. it will minister. Your people will be able to apply the word. God, it will not just Thank come and go. But it will be applied. It will change the lives of your people. Change will be brought about. Yes, God. Because of the word. 
if there is no change, then we are our ministry is in vain. My so God, God, we ask that when the word comes, that we will receive it, accept it, believe it, and apply it to our lives, almighty God, Lord Jesus. And so I give you thanks. May we have ears mm -hmm. to hear. May we have ears to hear yes, God. and a willing heart to respond to what the word is saying to us. I give you all the glory and I give you all the praise this afternoon. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we amen. just open your microphone? Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Bless Hallelujah. the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us just take some Hallelujah. time. Hallelujah. To just give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us take some time to just magnify him. Hallelujah. And lift up the name of Jesus. Let us take some time to tell him. Hallelujah. Oh, awesome Jesus. Hallelujah. You are awesome, God. Hallelujah. You are great, God. Hallelujah. Like you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, God. Hallelujah. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the praise, God. Hallelujah. We lift you up, God. We honor you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Bless you Hallelujah, Oh, yes, God, you are worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Bless you, Lord. 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 Bless you, Lord.
belongs to him. Hallelujah. Every part of me, everything that I exist for is about the King of Kings. Hallelujah. And the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. For there is none like him. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. You, Lord, you are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. For all the things you've done for me. And no one can worship you for me. Here's my worship. All of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship. All of my worship, you, Lord, you are worthy. Do you believe it tonight? And no one can worship you for me. For all the things you've done for me. And no one can worship you for me. Here's my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. Here is my worship. All of my worship, or receive my worship. All of my worship, here is my worship. Here is my worship. All of my, all of my worship. Oh, receive my worship. All of my worship, here is my worship, here I am to offer my worship, Lord, all of my worship, here is my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Oh Lord, as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. No, I will not. I will not be silent. I will always worship you. For as long as, as long as I am breathing, I will always Worship you. Oh, I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Oh, I will not be silent, I will always 
worship you. Hallelujah. He's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Here is my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. For you, Lord, you are worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're able to open your mic, come on, just open it for a few minutes and just tell the Lord that He is hallelujah. worthy. Hallelujah. Here is my hallelujah. worship. Receive my worship. Hallelujah. 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 I will not be silent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the awesome God. God. Like you are the Lord. Here is my worship. Take all of it. Hallelujah. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, and I just come to your excellent Lord. Hallelujah, I come to lift him up, to exalt him, to bless him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I give nothing but myself. over to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I just greet you again. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Thanking God for this opportunity again to be on the platform. Hallelujah. To look at this great uh, topic, the king who reigns and rule in the kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. The king who reigns and rule in the kingdom. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. You, the, uh, you know, some topics, uh, I said to evangelists, this is a big topic and this topic bigger than me. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I've never had a topic what caused me to feel so shaky in my life. But bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to allow the Holy Spirit tonight. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, you know, when you feel nervous, God is up to something uh, Amen. because I'm depending on the Holy Ghost tonight. Yes. Uh, bless the name of the Lord who's going to help me to break it down. Uh, bless the name of the Lord as best uh, as he can because it's not about me. It's about Amen. the Holy Ghost that is inside of me because we're talking about the King who reigns and rule in the kingdom tonight. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. I'm excited to see what God is about to do tonight. Uh, uh, bless the name of the Lord. I haven't had the opportunity to log in and hear uh, what the other speakers have been saying thus far. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. But here, uh, um, we're going to do this. Bless the name of the Lord. So I ask that you will be praying me up in the background. Hallelujah. As I do my best uh, to release what the Lord will have me to say tonight. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. The King who reigns and rule in the kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. And for all who know me, uh, first of all, you know, I got to I gotta break it down first before I can get into the word. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. And when we understand what a king is uh, and we understand uh, that the king is comes uh, from a place of royalty, uh, comes from a place of lineage or hierarchy uh, as, as the head. Uh, bless the name of 
the Lord, when we look at uh, the what a king is, that's just me uh, quickly summing that up. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, and we are talking about the king tonight who reigns. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. And we know that when we look at the word, uh, hallelujah, to reign, it means, uh, bless the name of the Lord, it means the dominion or to influence uh, something. It means uh, uh, the time of which someone is in, uh, in, in position or in a stature or in a place uh, uh, to ownership. Uh, so we know when you reign, uh, uh, bless the name of the Lord. When we look at the reigning in a natural time, there is a season and a time uh, when you when there is one in reigning. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. So we know what reign uh, is the influence or dominion. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When we are looking at these words, hallelujah, glory to God. And when one is in rule, uh, the definition of rule is um is one of a set uh one who understood regulations uh principles governing conduct or procedure uh bless the name of the lord uh, uh I, you all know when i come on you have to have your pen and your paper ready because i'm i, I gotta teach it and preach it uh bless the name of the lord uh i gotta do it the way god will allow me to do it so i've got to break it down the way he will have me to break it down uh bless the name of the lord so we know that to rule uh we're talking about reign the king we're talking about reigning and to rule uh bless the name of the lord so the one who rule understands regulations or principles governing conduct or procedure within a particular area or activity. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Control or dominion over an area or of people. When you look at the word rule, uh, bless the name of the Lord. And we looked at reign uh, bless the name of the Lord is uh, the is one who has influence. Uh, bless the name of the Lord, dominion, sway, or influence. Uh, bless the name of the Lord is uh, the word for reign. So kingdom, according uh, when we look at the kingdom, uh, I know last month we were looking at the treasures of the kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord, which then uh, should, if you remember from last month, you would have some insight to what the kingdom is. So now we're going to look in at the king who reigns and rules over the kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. So we know that there are treasures in the kingdom and there is somebody who is in position, uh, who has the authority or the governing action uh, who, 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 who can who, who, who supports and protects and guides uh, these jewels of the kingdom. Now, according to Google, uh, when I looked up uh, the word kingdom, it, 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 it brought up the word a country, a state or a territory ruled by a king or a queen. So it's a territory or a place uh, that is ruled uh, by some Somebody in great power. It's a realm or, or it can be seen as a domain, a country. Uh, it can be classed as land, a nation or a state. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. An empire. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Province. There are so many words you can use uh, when we understand or look at the terms kingdom, uh, it can be broken down into so many different synonyms uh, that will explain what the kingdom is. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Now we know in St. Matthew uh, somewhere it says, uh, I believe in chapter 6, it says what? Seek ye first the kingdom uh, of God and his righteousness and then everything else will be added. So we know in order to understand uh, the king who reigns and rules, we first have to seek the understanding of the kingdom. Because when you understand uh, what the kingdom is, then you will understand who, uh, bless the name of the Lord, who is in charge and who rules. So we know the kingdom is often called uh, the monarchy, uh, which means that one person is the, it's usually one person who inherits the position by birth, uh, 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 bless the name of the Lord or marriage 
or are is the leader or the head. So we know in order to to uh to rule or to reign, it's done by a uh it's it's normally one person. Uh, make sure you're you're following me because we we go in somewhere tonight. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. So it's normally one person who reigns and rules. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. So my basic uh, scripture that I'm going to come to you just to set, uh, uh, to understand about the ruling here is in uh, Revelation chapter 11. Bless the name of the Lord. The book of Revelation uh, chapter 11. And I'm going to read from 15 to 19. Ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. So Revelation 11, uh, 15 to 19. And it says, and the seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders, which sat before God on their seats, fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were great, and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. Bless the name of the Lord. We know the word of the Lord is already blessed, uh, but we honor it by saying amen and amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Revelation 11, 15 to 19. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Now we know in this portion of scripture here, uh, this was uh, um, the announcement of the triumph of Christ's kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. It was uh, just going into, uh, bless the name of the Lord, uh, telling us uh, uh, here, in this in this portion uh bless the name of the lord was just telling us that uh uh where we were saying here in 15 it says and the seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our lord and of this and of his christ and he shall reign forever and ever so it speaks about Christ's dominion. We're talking about the king who reigns and rules in the kingdom. Now here in, this, in the Bible here, it tells us that he will what reign forever and ever. Uh, 17 says that, uh, going down to verse 17, it says uh, here, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power, and hast reigned, which means that it was a continuous, uh, it was a continual uh, movement. Uh, bless the name of the Lord that the way Christ, it says Christ has reigned. Hallelujah. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. It says he has reigned and he will continue to reign. So if I ask the question tonight, uh, what is uh, the kingdom uh, of God? Uh, what would be your response? Uh, I know we've been looking at the hidden treasures and things and we look at the kingdom, but we got to understand, uh, bless the name of the Lord. What is the 
kingdom uh, of God. Hallelujah. What is it to rule? Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, when I looked at it in the in the natural sense, uh, me being here in the UK, we know that the UK stands for the United Kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. I'm not aware of any other countries uh, that have kingdom on it uh but i'm i'm in a place where i'm in a kingdom uh bless the name of the lord in the physical sense in the uk uh, i i am in living in a kingdom uh that a uh, man saw fit to name but tonight i'm not talking about the physical kingdom we are talking about the king who reigns and rules in the kingdom so i'm talking about the spiritual kingdom uh, bless the name of the Lord. Now, when I ask the question tonight, what uh, if I ask you, what is the kingdom? Uh, what would be your response? Now, when I told you about the kingdom, we know that the kingdom is a territory. It's a country or a land or a nation uh, or a realm um, in the sense of when we look at it in the physical sense. Uh, and I ask the question, do you know? Uh, the second question I will ask you is, uh, which king is reigning? Ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord over your kingdom. Ah, uh, my God. Uh, here we go now, Lord. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, which king is reigning? Because there are many kings, but the Bible says that he is the king of kings uh, and he's the Lord of lords. So you got to know what king is reigning your territory, what king is reigning uh, over your land or over your empire. Uh, because we know there is a king of this world in the atmosphere uh, and there is the the true and living God who is the king of all kings. Uh, but tonight I come to tell you about the true and living God who is the ultimate king who will reign forever and evermore. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Help me, Jesus. Uh, I, I, want, I feel like worshiping tonight. Uh, I want to tell you about this king. Uh, this king made me smile. I feel overwhelmed when I talk Hallelujah. about the king tonight. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Isaiah 32 verse 1 says, Behold, a king will reign in righteousness. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. It says, A king will reign in righteousness. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 and princes shall rule in judgment. Uh, behold, a king will reign in righteousness, and princes will rule with justice. Uh, and it goes on to say, bless the name of each will be like a shelter from the wind, a refuge from the storm, like streams of water in a dry land, like the shadow of a great rock in an arid land. Uh, bless the name of the Lord when it goes on to talk about the princess. But I don't want to go on to the princes at the minute. Let me stay right there with the king. So we know a king will reign in righteousness. Uh, you see the characteristic of our king uh, first there is our, our righteousness. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, there's got to be some righteousness to our king who reigns. Uh, there is a holiness to him. Uh, there, there is a uh, uh, there is a special type of, uh, there is something special about a king. Uh, they're not ordinary. They're, they're not normal. Uh, they've been groomed or grown or they've been uh, separated for a special reason uh, because they are uh, peculiar uh, in the sense. Uh, so the Bible says uh, uh, in St. Matthew 6, as I said before, 33, it says, seek ye first, seek the first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, I said, and his righteousness. But then Isaiah Isaiah tells me, 32 verse 1, as I just read, behold, a king shall reign in righteousness. Uh, mm. So if we're seeking the righteousness, uh, bless the name of the Lord, uh, we must end up uh, at the king. Uh, we must end up where the king is because uh, we're going to seek first the kingdom and righteousness. And bless the name of the Lord, Isaiah then tells me that there is a king that will reign 
in righteousness. So if we seek the righteousness, uh, there we will find that the king is there in the midst. Uh, my God, in the midst of righteousness, he is there. Amen. Uh, my God. So the kingdom of God once, uh, uh, the kingdom of God was one of Jesus's most uh, uh, talked about matters. Uh, when we search the Bible, we know that the kingdom is very important uh, because it's mentioned in several uh, different scriptures, in several places, uh, bless the name of the Lord. And uh, you know that if we ask what is the kingdom, uh, we will all come with different um, different uh, responses uh, because the Bible not only did he not just uh, explain it, but he used lots of different parables uh, to explain what the kingdom was. Uh, for instance, he said it's like a treasure. Uh, he said it was like a pearl. Uh, he said it's not of this world. Uh, there's scripture that says that it's within us. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. So we know that the kingdom is not of this world. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Because if it was of this world, uh, I'm telling you there would be war and even more rumors of war because you know what it is when people want to take territories and they think they could have overpower or overturn but it's not of this world which means that it's untouchable by man unless God allows it in the name of the Lord so we know that the kingdom is not from this world and where does it uh it tells us that in St. John 18 and verse 13 let me just give you the scripture right there Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. St. John 18 uh, and verse 36. And it says uh, this. Uh, it says, Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Hallelujah. When it speaks about the spiritual kingdom. Now, uh, in order to know, we're talking about the king who reigns. Uh, Jesus, uh, he used the word. If you see here what was written, it says, my kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. He says, my kingdom is not of this world. So what kingdom are we searching for? What kingdom are we trying to be a part? of tonight is it your kingdom with your empire and your territory or your generation or your lineage kingdom or are we talking about the united kingdom or are we talk talking about the you the kingdom of christ uh because we're talking about the king who reigns and rules the kingdom uh so the bible first of all will tell me then uh that uh, the king uh bless the name of the lord uh is jesus christ uh bless the name of the lord who is then in divinity with his father and the holy ghost uh, because they combined as one entity and and they will rule uh bless the name as one so Jesus answered and said, my kingdom is not of this world. Uh, there in St. John, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, where, where, where the, the, then they were asking again. Uh, the Pharisees then asked again. And the kingdom is not, uh, it says the kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed. Nor will they say look here it is uh you see it's not something that's coming in a sense to be observed uh or or we can say oh there it is it's over there or it's coming at such and such a time uh or, or it's gonna come but the bible says that the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god is at hand if we remember when john the baptist was out preaching he was saying that the kingdom of god is at hand which means then that uh, I could look at the kingdom in two entities as a, a one that is already here within us and a kingdom that is to come. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. I'm not trying to confuse you, but if you look at it, uh, you'll get to understand what I'm saying. So we know then that the time it says here that uh, uh, when John was preaching, he said that uh, the kingdom of God is at hand and we ought to repent and believe. So in order to understand or uh, to know the king who reigns, uh, we first got to repent and then we got to believe. 
uh, lest you will not uh, experience or know the king who reigns. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. So we know then uh, when I was looking through, uh, the term kingdom is used 162 times in the New Testament. And most of them were referring to the kingdom of God uh, because we're talking about the king who reigns, which means I'm talking about God's kingdom. So it was referring to the kingdom of God. And when we uh, look at uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the concept of the kingdom in both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, um, kingdom is understood as uh, the dynamic nature that, re uh, that refers to the reign of of a king. Uh, you see, we're getting there now. Uh, so the kingdom refers uh, to the dynamic nature of the reign of a king. So we're looking at the king. So it, it is used uh, to refer to a territory, as I said, uh, bless the name of the Lord. And it's an expression of the kingdom of God as the rule of god hallelujah so we know that it's uh, it's it's uh, that it's not a physical place uh bless the name of the lord uh but uh that people may think that the kingdom of god is 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 as heaven or is is a church in the sense but the kingdom of god is not an actual place but it's a working definition of God's kingdom uh, from the biblical perspective that God reigns as creator uh, and Christ uh, and as our redeemer over our life. For God is eternal, which means yeah. that his kingdom is eternal. So the kingdom of God uh, doesn't it transcends time and space? Uh, it's it's not it's not something you can put in time or, or that you can uh, captivate in the in uh, in space. Uh, bless the name of the Lord, because it is uh, bless the name of the Lord. It is not an actual physical thing. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. But it's important to know the king, uh, bless the name of the kingdom that we are talking about tonight, is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So let us look at the king. So we know that God is the king because that's the only king I'm talking about tonight. And that's the true and living God. I'm not, I'm not going to waste time talking about no other king because that's not important to me tonight. Uh, they, they can't compare. Uh, they can't come at the forefront because we're talking about the ultimate king of king, uh, the ultimate source tonight. Hallelujah. And we know that the king reigns over all things. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, so since God is the creator, creator of everything he reigns over all things Amen. his role as creator uh, establishes his authority over the earth and all of his creation psalms 24 verse 1 says that the earth is the lord's and everything in it the world and all who live in it i'm paraphrasing all right, Psalms 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's. Let me turn to it because I like to quote. Uh, I want to make sure I'm quoting things uh, 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 as the word will allow me to. Bless the name Amen. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me know. I'm not going to paraphrase nothing tonight because we're talking about the King of Kings, uh, mighty Redeemer. So Psalms 24, uh, verse 1, it says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Hallelujah. So we are the Lord's and we know that uh, uh, we're talking about the King who reigns. So let me tell you how the King reigns. He reigns over all things. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalms 103, hallelujah, and verse 19, it says this, hallelujah, it says, The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. 
Ah, bless the name of the Lord. So he reigns uh, over the earth because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And then he says uh, in a hundred and Psalms 103 and verse 19, it says now, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, his kingdom ruleth over all. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. So you see the king, uh, he's got to reign and he's got to rule. There's no rule without the reign and there's no reign without the rule. Uh, mm -hmm. Bless the name of the Lord because the king has to move in 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 in, in sync. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. As I reminded you uh, that rule uh, bless the name of the Lord, is understanding regulations or principles governing conduct or procedure within a particular area. When there is a ruling, that means that God governs, uh, bless the name of the Lord. He governs conduct and procedure uh, from us as individuals. And when it talks about rain, it means that he has influence ah uh, bless the name of the lord and he is in as dominion over our uh, god his people and his children bless the name of the lord hallelujah so we're talking about the king so the king reigns hallelujah and his and his kingdom, kingdom rules, rules over all ah uh, bless the name of the lord colossians 1 16 and 17 says for in him all things were created Things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. Out of love created man. God created man and gave him dominion and responsibility over the earth. This was an opportunity for man to participate in God's kingdom. You see, we were, we were given access to participate uh, because when we were created, uh, he, he gave us a, a responsibility over the earth, uh, which was our first opportunity uh, to, to, to then participate in the kingdom of God. But guess what? Guess who tried to challenge uh, the authority now? Sin crept in and challenged God's authority over wow. his mm -hmm. uh, the scripture speaks about uh, uh, satan's rebellion against god uh which consequently led uh to the institution of the fallen angels uh and then there was a counterfeit kingdom uh you see I'm, uh, there's a counterfeit kingdom now here on earth where the fallen angels are uh, because they did not want to uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, you see, because they wanted to challenge God uh, and because of their disobedience, uh, now they went and did a whole new kingdom for themselves. But we're not talking about that kingdom tonight. Uh, bless the name of the Lord uh, because we are talking about uh, uh, bless the name. Even though they created uh, another kingdom here on earth, uh, we're talking about the one who, re who reigns and rules over all so revelation 12 verse 4 says its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to earth the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it so that it might devour her child the moment he was born second corinthians 4 verse 4 says the god of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. In Genesis chapter 2, we know that Satan uh, uh, convinced the first humans to trust in themselves. And we all know the story about um, Adam and Eve and how they fell uh, and they were disobedient in the God that God had placed them to have dominion. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. So instead of them operating uh, uh, um, and, and respecting God's sovereignty, uh, they began to, 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 uh, to, to have personal desire. They began to uh, trust their self uh, 
uh, bless the name of the Lord. They became a, a consequence to their sin uh, and had to leave the garden. You see, the one who reigned and ruled, uh, then they ha they couldn't remain there. They had to be put out uh, because they didn't comply uh, to the rules and the regulations uh, that God had uh, given unto them. The king had given unto them. So, so we know then uh, that there was a challenge uh, that took place uh, that went against uh, the kingdom. So through sin, those sin, uh, bless the name of the Lord, uh, was permitted now to, to mankind uh, because uh, it was just the way how it happened. Uh, God called out a people for himself to bless. Uh, and we know uh, through the scriptures, uh, there were many um, dedicated servants uh, who were in covenant with God. And uh, through their covenant and their faithfulness to God, God promises a kingdom. It's still talking about the king who reigns and rules. So he was in authority. God was in a position to promise a kingdom. And one of the servants that he promised to was Abraham, where he, he said he would reestablish his kingdom authority authority on earth uh bless the name of the lord and he said that in genesis uh 12 uh bless the name of the lord hallelujah genesis 12 let me just turn to it so i can read it here and then we can break this down uh, as we get into the king who rules and reigns uh bless the name of the lord the king who rules and reigns Ah, uh, thank you, Jesus. So Genesis chapter 12 here, uh, verses two and three, and it says, and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. And over in chapter 17 here and verse 8, uh, bless the name of the Lord, it says, and I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, uh, Bless the name of the Lord. 26 over in chapter 26 in the same Genesis says, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven and will give your descendants all these lands and by your descendants, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Abraham, when God was uh, was talking to Abraham here and his descendants. They, he said that they would have three things, a land, a nation, and a blessing. This shows that God was advancing his kingdom through a chosen people who would be permanently set apart for God's purpose. Uh, now, when we look at the king who reigns and rules, only a king can be in a position, uh, bless the name of the Lord, uh, to, to, to release land or to release uh, kingdom or to release nations, uh, bless the name of the Lord, that individuals can be blessed. Uh, you see, so there was a promise uh, of the kingdom that will be given. And when we looked at the definition of kingdom, if you remember, it is, uh, bless the name of the Lord, territory or an empire or a nation or land. Now, uh, that's what kingdom uh, means. Uh, but here was now Abraham as a servant of God, hallelujah, that God uh, was being um, issued, uh, bless the name of the Lord, be given the kingdom kingdom, ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord, as we would then put it or phrase it here. And God was saying, not only am I going to give you these things, but I'm going to give it uh, to your descendants. Ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord. And let me just stick a pin right there. This is why it's so important that as children of the Most High, uh, that we line up ourselves, ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord, that it will 
flow from generation to generation. You see, when you are, my God, when there is a blessing or you're in position, uh, God will bless you. And he says, I will multiply. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. You yeah. see, when it comes to kingdom principle, uh, we are living according to kingdom principles. There is a multiplication that will happen where there is evidence in our life. Amen. The name of the Lord. Glory to God. Uh, Sunday, my I uh, was looking at um, um, I think it was St. John chapter 15, where it talks about the true vine. Uh, and we are the branches, uh, and how important it is to be a fruit uh, and to be a good fruit. Bless the name of the Lord. So, what we have to understand is uh, who are uh, bless the name of the Lord. When we understand uh, who the king is and how he reigns and how he rules, bless the name of the Lord, then we can understand that it takes a king who is in top notch authority to release uh, these gifts. Amen. That's the name of the Lord. So Abraham was in position, hallelujah, where it tells me that the Bible says that uh, he received, the Lord promised him, said that he would receive a land, a nation, and a blessing. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. And God, hallelujah, uh, this was spoken over to somebody who was in a covenant with him. Hallelujah. He was in a, a covenant with God. So it's important for us to maintain our posture in Christ in order to receive the kingdom. You see, the kingdom is not going to be for everybody. Uh, the, even though the kingdom is there, we can all have access. But there is a requirement that we've got to set ourselves to in order for the king uh, to release uh, access to these things. So God shows uh, his standard of holiness within his kingdom. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And after Israel, uh, when we look, in, when he was talking uh, down there in Exodus, uh, in, um, Exodus, when uh, we know that the people were, uh, when Moses was leading the people out of Egypt, uh, uh, down there in, in the story, you know, tells us about that down in, uh, in Exodus somewhere. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. We know that God established a covenant with his people at Mount Sinai, because then we know Moses went unto the mount where then God gave gave him, hallelujah, God gave him, bless the name of the Lord, uh, he gave him the commandments, uh, bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah, and he was able uh, then to bring it to the people, hallelujah, as a, as, as, a, 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 as a guide, bless the name of the Lord, for them to do what he had uh, uh, commissioned or commanded them to do, bless the name of Jesus. So we know then that when he gave Moses the law, uh, uh, bless the name of the Lord, it was to set the nation apart from the other nations on earth uh, you see now God is establishing its kingdom so they had to be a set apart uh, bless the name of the Lord which is why I can say in in in, in Saint Matthew chapter 6 where we in the in the our father prayer where it says thy kingdom come uh, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven which means then that the kingdom is something that is also to come even though it's already established because it says thy will be uh thy kingdom come uh on earth as it is in heaven which means then that it's already at a place but it just needs to uh now manifest and come down here on earth when he taught us how to pray and what to pray for uh, bless the name of the Lord. So uh, God's holiness was a standard for the people's obedience. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. And faith was to guide uh, their actions. It was to guide our actions uh, because we know that the Bible then tells us that uh, uh, without faith, uh, uh, it's impossible uh, to please him. It's impossible uh, to, to, to be of any use. So we have to have a certain level of faith. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, for God to guide our actions uh, and, to, and, and that we would come into uh, the standard of holiness that must be maintained in his kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. 
Uh, you see, there's got to be a standard of holiness uh, that must be maintained in his kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, so you see now we are looking at the, uh, the governing, the rules. Uh, the, this is the rules that the king has set in order for us to be at the place of the kingdom. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. I got to wrap this up. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. I didn't even look at the time. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. But let's let's just do this quickly. So uh, then, uh, so it says now, uh, when we remember when Moses said, went up to God and God called him up onto the mountain. And he, um, and, and this is what I, uh, uh, God told him what to say. Uh, and he told him what to tell the people. He said that you uh, you yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt and how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself in that sense. Uh, and now he's saying now, obey me and fully keep my commandment. Uh, then out of all nations, you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine, you will be mine. You will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. And that was in Exodus uh, uh, 19, three to six. It says that you would be my treasured possession and will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. So the king now who is ruling, who is God, he is giving us, uh, uh, he is telling us, uh, bless the name of the Lord, what it is uh, required uh, in order to be uh, 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 called or, or, uh, or come into a place of the kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, this, uh, bless the name of Jesus. So he says, uh, so not only are we is uh, righteousness, uh, seek the righteousness who then told me that there is a king who reigns in righteousness. But if we obey and fully keep his commandments, he says that we will be uh, a kingdom of priests. Amen. And a holy nation. Because a kingdom uh, consists of a uh, territory or a nation or of land. So it's got to be uh, in order for the kingdom to come to a place of fulfillment, uh, knowing that the, the king is fully reigning. Uh, we as a people have to come into total obedience. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, total obedience with the word of God. So we know. Uh, that God had, uh, uh, when we continue to look at uh, uh, understanding the rule uh, of, 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 of the king, we know that God promised David that someone from his family would always sit on the throne of Israel. Uh, when we look at uh, uh, the setup of the kings in those times, in, that was in 2 Samuel, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we know that there was a lineage there from David about the king. And when I told you about the king, uh, we know that the king is a person that can reign either from birth or from creation. Uh, and it's a position of a leader or a head normally by one person which then tells me that God is the only reigning king so we know her, uh, bless the name of the Lord, uh, that even though there were, uh, when we look at the kings in the physical sense, when the king makes a decree or when the king speaks, uh, bless the name of the Lord, uh, people have to obey the rules or obey the decree or, or, or the command that the king has set forth. Because if you disobey the king or you disobey the decree or the rule, then you know, then you fall into to a place of what sudden death or destruction uh bless the name of the lord uh just as a reminder when we look at even the three hebrew boys when they wanted them to bow down to uh, uh and to worship their idols uh, and to denounce their king or to denounce their god hallelujah when they refused what happened they threw them in uh the the fiery furnace uh they were sentenced to death when they went against the king and so it is in the in in the, in the physical, uh, if we look at it in the spiritual, why is it so many of us are play, 
playing, uh, playing with God, knowing that he is the author and the finisher. Amen. So we're doing our own things, not understanding the king who reigns and rules in the kingdom, not understanding the king who reigns and rules our life, uh, rules our destiny, uh, the one that gives breath and can take it away. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. This is the king who reigns. And he's not just reigning for a season, but he's reigning for eternity. It's an eternal movement. It's a reigning without end. Uh, you can't try to dethrone this king. You can't vote out this king. Uh, bless the name of the mm. Lord. Uh, whether you want to worship him or not, uh, he's still going to be excellent. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. He will still sit high and still look low. No matter what uh, we want to do about it, there's nothing we can do about it. Ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord. Ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord. We're talking about the king who rules and reigns. Ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord. And we know that this king who reigns and rules, he will do what is right. Ah, uh, he don't, he don't mess and play. He's not a, a king uh, that you can bribe or a king that you can do a favor for. Ah, uh, he don't need anybody. He reigns all by himself. Ah, uh, he is God all by himself. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. And there are some days that are coming uh, that uh, Jeremiah, uh, he declared uh, the Lord that he says, when I will fulfill the good promise I made to the people of Israel and Judah in those days. And at that time, I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. And it says he will do what is just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called the Lord, our righteous savior. For this is what the Lord said. So the king who reigns and rule is the Lord, our righteous savior. You see, it still come back to righteousness. It still come back to holiness because you have some Lord so-called lords out there that don't have any righteousness. They don't right. have any just, they don't have any right uh, or right or wrongs or right doings about them. They are corrupt, but we're speaking about the Lord of lords, the king of kings who rules and reigns throughout eternity. That's right. So it's the Lord, our righteous savior. And he says that uh, 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 he will never fail. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. He says that, uh, bless the name of the Lord. The Lord says that uh, here, here, Jeremiah again, he says, uh, if you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night so that day and night no longer come at their appointed time, then my covenant with David, my servant, and my covenant with the Levites who are priests ministering before me can be broken and David will no longer have a descendant to reign on his throne. Now, when you look at that verse there in Jeremiah uh, 33, um, uh, 14 to 26 there, it's saying that uh, this is the king that reigns, that there is nobody else who can separate day from night. That's right. This is the king that we are talking about, the one that rules. He says that, uh, bless the name of the Lord, uh, he had a Pointed a time. There is, uh, if you feel you can break my covenant with that, uh, if you feel that you are more powerful, uh, bless the name of the Lord, and you feel that you can uh, no longer, uh, uh, you feel that you can mix them or turn them any other way, uh, bless the name of the Lord. He says, then, uh, bless God. He says, then I will, I will make uh, my make the descendants of David my servant. He says countless he said before me as countless 
as the stars in the sky and as the measureless of the sand on the seashore. You see, the, the one who reigns, uh, none of us can count the grains on that seashore. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. I, I don't think, you see, there, I don't think there's any book. You always find these books that talk about wildlife and fish and they can tell you the teeth and the structure of beetles and bugs. But I'm telling you, there is no man that has ever written a book to tell you how to separate day or night or how many grains of sand there are on the beach or on the seashore. It doesn't exist. Ah, bless the name of the Lord. The only person who can do that is the King of Kings. Amen. And create them because he is the one who created that's right he is the beginning and he is the end hallelujah and he is the author and the finisher and he says then that he will establish the law you see he, he is the one that made the heaven and the earth and he says that uh, uh, he is the one who chooses who to rule over descendants Right. And he says he will restore our fortunes and have compassion upon us. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. So we need to understand, uh, bless the name of the Lord, that there is a king who reigns and rules uh, and there is and and he takes he, no, he needs no counsel or, 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 or opinion from man. He can do it all by himself. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. And he can uh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he has promised us, hallelujah, that, 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 that we can too have access or to be a part of the kingdom again as he reestablishes it here on earth. So we knew we know then that the kingdom, uh, as, as one of the scriptures says, is within. And in order to have access to the kingdom, we need to allow the king who reigns to rule over us. So if we are, if he's made us a priest, uh, a priestly kingdom, as he said, that when we are in covenant with him, he would make us a nation. He, he will uh, make us a kingdom of priests, uh, bless the name of the Lord, then we have to know and understand that we have to repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near and, and we have to, uh, bless the name, recognize Jesus as the Lamb of God who reigns and rules. John 1 29 says that John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And it only takes a king who can wipe a slate clean. It only takes a king, uh, bless the name of the Lord, who will be able uh, to, to, to tell us, uh, bless the name of, to, to ride in, in a position and to clear and to remove uh, some stuff. Uh, you see, man will hold it accountable, but who has, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Bible says that Jehovah has the final say. So when the king speaks, the last word it means that his rule cannot be broken uh his rule uh stands uh because as long as he is king he reigns uh forevermore so the kingdom of god is to be received and I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to wrap it up uh, because I, I re I didn't even realize the time but the kingdom of God is to be received. And in Mark 10, 13, it says, uh, uh, to 16 says, Jesus, in that scripture, Jesus teaches that one is to receive the kingdom of God like a small child. Uh, and this teaching indicates to us that the kingdom is not something that we are to achieve in and of ourselves, but rather are to humbly accept by the grace that we are saved in. So in order to understand who is ruling the kingdom, uh, because it's something that we've got to receive, we've got to accept that God is the king and he rules and he reigns forevermore. Amen.
or it is by grace that you have been saved. It's by grace that we have been saved. And through our faith, uh, bless the name of the Lord, it is a gift from God. And it's not by our works. It's not by our works. So we can't boast and act like we've done it by ourselves, but it's something that has come uh, via the king, hallelujah, uh, by, the, by the, the, the king of king who reigns and rules. So Jesus used a little child in this illustration that we understand that as a child who depends on their parents, we ought to depend on God. We ought to depend on God who is our king, who is our source. We got to rely on him for the entrance to the kingdom because we cannot go in unless the king gives us the authority or access to go. So we know that we have to move in exceptional obedience. We know that Christ uh, traded his heavenly right for a crown of thorns. We're just getting over the Easter weekend. We know that he traded that for a crown of thorns so that we might freely receive salvation in exchange for the risen king, hallelujah, who was given the right to be called Lord. So we know that we are serving not a dead king, hallelujah, but a risen king. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he's a king that uh, has been given the right, uh, bless the name of the Lord, that we can call him Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. So tonight, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we got to understand uh, that uh, the kingdom of God has come near so that we can repent and believe uh, in the gospel of him. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we got to understand that entrance into the kingdom of God requires belief and repentance requires belief and repentance. So tonight I leave it right there. I'll pick it back up tomorrow. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. As mm. I will wrap this, wrap it up. Bless the name of the Lord in, in the second half. Uh, because the, uh, when we look about, look at the king who reigns and rules in the kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. It's not a, a, a topic that you can just throw down uh, in a quick notion. But when you understand who the king of king is, uh, bless the name of the Lord, then you will come into a land into receiving the kingdom and understanding that he is the governing source. Uh, bless the name of the Lord who will direct you and order your steps according to his word that we are living holy and acceptable. Hallelujah. Kingdom principles are uh, knowing that he rules and he reigns. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. So this time I'm going to hand over back to our evangelist. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As I'm going to just leave it right there. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Understand that there is a kingdom. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. Which is not a, a kingdom that you can touch. Or that you can control. But this kingdom comes from Christ. Who reigns and rules and governs it. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. God bless bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I would just like you to Hallelujah. just pray. Come on up, God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Come on back and just wrap this up in some prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'll take it from there. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Can we just open our microphone? Come on, believers, let's open our microphone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look to God and give the King Hallelujah. of Kings. Hallelujah. The highest praise. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God. I should have been hearing some more worship going up. 
Hallelujah. Yes. Bless the name of God. The mics are not muted. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord of Lords of worship. Hallelujah. The King that reigns forever. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Woman of God, just go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Know that it's late there. Hallelujah. And I, hallelujah. Bless God. And I'm so happy to see your husband and child. Hallelujah. Bless God. God and light tonight. Bless you, Brother Winston. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Go ahead, woman of God, and let's pray. Hallelujah. And I'll take it right from there. Bless the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Bless Hallelujah. Me? Yes. Yeah, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So eternal Heavenly Father, oh God, we just thank you. Father God, I'm thanking you for this word. Thanking you, oh God, that you are the king that rules thank and you, reigns. Jesus. Or the king that rules and reigns over my life, over my household. Father God, over my finances, my health, my wealth, oh, my mind. Father God, I'm thanking you. Thank I you, thank Jesus. you, oh God, that you are where you have allowed me to deliver tonight. Oh God, I thank you for each and every one that is on the platform. Thanking you for your grace, your mercy. I thank you, oh God, for your power, oh God, that you have released, oh God, oh God, this word to our spirits, to our bellies. Thank you, I thank you, oh God, that even though I've been speaking, that Lord, you've been revealing yourself to me. Help me, oh God, that Lord, I too will come to the place of understanding who the Hallelujah. real king, uh, king is. Understanding that you mm. are my source and my reason. Jesus. Oh my God, and I need Holy to God. remain connected to you. That Lord, mm. I can too have access to the kingdom, fulfilling, oh God, my assignment here on earth. And I pray, oh, Lord, Lord, tonight, Lord, that you touch every heart, every mind, every spirit that has connected tonight. That Lord, oh, even so. if they may not understand completely, but Lord, they can find something that they can hold on to that will ignite mm. them and give them, oh God, the extra push into getting closer to you, into coming into, oh God, the will of you, oh God. That Lord Jesus, that everything that we do will be a reflection of you here on earth. For Lord, Hallelujah. we are your branches. And Lord, we want to remain connected to you who is the true and living God. Mighty Redeemer, I pray that you will touch everyone from the crown of their head to the soul of their feet tonight. I pray, Lord God, that you will send Holy Ghost fire to their situations. That Lord, they will understand, Lord God, that they are not defeated. They are not below. They are not the, the tail, but they are the head because Lord, we Hallelujah. are joined Yes, with Christ who is your son and you are the king which means oh God that we have oh God are able Lord that we are in a position to be able to speak a thing and see it come to pass according to your will mighty redeemer I pray that you will reinforce your edge of protection Lord God bless this platform cover down your people mighty redeemer we draw a bloodline around each and every individual that Lord they will not deter or be distracted but Lord that we will come into full obedience Hallelujah. oh God according to your word that Lord we will reign with you oh my God for there is a time when we was coming where we will be reigning with you one day and mighty God I'm asking Thank you Lord you, that Jesus. you prepare us to be sanctuaries pure and holy tried and true mighty God that Lord Hallelujah. God you will be glorified and be lifted up Father God I pray Lord God that you will shield us from the scourge of the enemy oh god shield us oh god from giving in oh god to the elements and the things around us but help us to stand firm rooted and grounded knowing that we know that we know that we know that you are the true and living god and that lord god your hand is never changing father you never fail and lord you promise never to leave us or forsake us help us oh god to remain faithful 
Hallelujah. Oh God, as you pour out into us, uh, uh, mighty God, that you will continue to give us uh, strength. Uh, oh God, as we go from day to day, that we will continue to keep our eyes on you, looking to you, oh God, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Father God, I pray that you will take full charge and control as I tell you thanks in Jesus' blessed holy name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can we just go ahead and Thank give the Lord Jesus. a praise this afternoon? Hallelujah. 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 Come on, can we just add you to our mighty name the Lord? A praise this afternoon. Hallelujah. Indeed, he is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. I'm just going to be following the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And the leading of the Holy Spirit right now. Hallelujah. Bless God. I was frozen through. I think it was Jeremiah, some there about where God is calling for the woman, women who will lament, women who will pray, women who will intercede, hallelujah. And it just jumped in my spirit that I'm going to be asking somebody, a woman, hallelujah, to take this prayer point for us today. And I'm going to be asking you to pray for the men Hallelujah. Glory to God. Those that are online. Hallelujah. And also for a young man over there on YouTube by the name. Let me see the name. Hallelujah. All right. He's over there. His name is Kamai. I'm not going to call his last name. Hallelujah. It's Kamai. He said he's asking for prayer because the enemy doesn't want him to believe in God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. So I'm going to be asking a woman, hallelujah, glory to God, that uh, whether you have a husband or not, you have children, hallelujah, you're going to be interceding this afternoon on the behalf of the men. There are some men on the platform. They are Major El Jaro. They are Winston um, Cespedi. Bless the name of God. There is Winston White. There is Pastor Brown. I think he's there. Pastor Brown, where are you? I thought he was here. I'm here. Oh, he's still there. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are going to pray and intercede. Hallelujah for the men. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And for the young man over there on YouTube. Bless the name of God. I want somebody, hallelujah, to take this prayer point. Hallelujah. Come on, ladies. Where are you? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We will take that prayer point tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, he may have put up his hand. Hallelujah. Come on, women. I want somebody. Can I call on your name? Minister Jason, where are you? True royalty, Rosemary, where are you? I'm just asking somebody to take the prayer point. Go ahead. It's just have to come up. Give me a minute. Bless the oh. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to go ahead and pray. I don't know where everyone is. Bless yes, the name of ahead. the Lord. Hallelujah. Praying on behalf of the men. Hallelujah. And the, the person on YouTube. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. Father God, we honor you. We magnify you. We know, oh God, that you do all things. Oh God, you are the creator, the beginning, the end. And Father God, you saw it fit, oh God, when you created man, you first created the male species according to the word. And Father God, 
Father Lord God, God, for your word this afternoon. We're going to say thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. From the man's side, and then you create the woman. Thank you, Lord God. Lord God, tonight, oh God, we are interceding and crying out on behalf of the men. Almighty God, tonight, Lord God, we are. God, you know everything about them. Lord, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I pray, Lord God, that you will equip them to stand, oh God, as fathers, as husbands, oh God, as sons, as uncles, oh God, as every Males should God, stand God, in their household. Lord God, pray, Lord God, that you put them back them up under the place, tonight, oh God, where they are, in the my name God, of Jesus as Christ, the head in their Lord life. God, that, Lord, Lord, they will not be distracted Williams and confounded by the things of this world. But I pray, Lord God, that every man will stand up and know his identity in Christ. That he was created to do greatness. He was created to represent you here on earth. I pray, Lord God, that you will touch their belief system, that they will understand understand that they are Almighty God, because oh God, unless they reflect you, I pray, Lord God, that you will continue to order their steps according to your word. I pray, mighty God, that you will give them the tools and the strategy that they need to be able to excel and to be great and to do wonders here on this earth. I pray, Lord God, that you will touch every man, oh God, every part of their body, their inner being, their intuition, their mind, their thinking, the way the way they talk, the way they conduct themselves, that Lord, that they will Jesus understand Christ. that they are um, here as representatives of you. Oh God, I pray, Lord God, that oh, Lord, you give God, them back their joy, mind, their peace, oh, their love, uh, their understanding. The oh God, that they are able to reason, oh God, according to your Thank word. You, I pray, mighty Redeemer, that you will help every as every male as an individual yes, to stand and to rise up, oh God, in yes. every area that they desire. Oh God, yes, that they God. will be godly. They will, oh God, stand up as successors. Oh God, yes, our God. world changes. Father God, that they will change their environments, their situations. That Lord, when they yes, speak God. here, they will speak with power and authority. I pray, Lord God, that you will put them back in a place, oh God, mm. where they are walking in wisdom and understanding. Father God, where they're moving, oh God, under your counsel, oh God. And I yes, pray, God. Lord God, that you will pour out your spirit upon them. Lord, touch them again from the inside out, giving them the unction to function according to the Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord God, that you will anoint them afresh, oh Oh God, with oil that will flow just like how it did in Aaron's beard down to the end, Lord God. That, Lord God, they will rise up as husbands, as fathers, as brothers, as uncles, as brothers. Oh God, whatever the position they play in life, friends, even mm -hmm. as good friends, friends that will offer good counsel. Oh God, that people will come together as men and they will arise up and, ah, my God, that they will have a sound in the communities, that they will yes, change God. their community. They will yes, change God. their workplace environments. They will change yes. schools. They will change hospitals. Lord God, yes, that God. You, as you pour out into them as men, that Lord God, there will be a brotherhood that will stand for righteousness. A brotherhood. Hallelujah. My God, that will stand for holiness. Father, too many times you see women dominating, oh God, the, the platform or dominating the churches. But Lord, oh, I'm asking God. you right now that you will yes. dispatch angels and oh, you will arrest every man, men. every boy, yes. every boy, every male. Oh God, wherever they are. And Lord, that you will bring them back into the fold. I'm asking you to oh, dispatch God. your angels Hallelujah. to go ahead of them, that they will not dash their foot against a stone. But mighty God, that they will come back, oh God, in their mental state. Father God, even that we come against mental Jesus. health issues that attack men internally because they refuse to vocalize sometimes. But Father God, I'm asking you that you'll bring them back to their right mind, bring them back to their right spirit, their My right countenance in knowing that you are the God that rules and reigns. Uh, you are the God that rules and governs their life. For they've been yes. created to take dominion. They've been created for purpose. They've been yes. created to complete their assignment. And I'm yes. asking you right now, God, that you call every back, call back every male from the north, yes. the east, the west, and the south. Call Lord, them we, back. Call them call them we call them out of depression. We call them out of deprivation. We call them, them out of joblessness. We call them out of sickness. We come against sickness yes. and disease. Ah, oh, my God, the prostate cancer that is on the rise. Oh God, every ailment that comes to attack our men. We are, my God, we cancel oh, it. We cripple it now. We curse it and send it back Jesus. to the pit 
Jesus. Lord God, we pray, Lord Jesus. God, that they will come into a place Every where they will have a fresh encounter with you, that you will Jesus. rise them up, oh God, that they will raise speak them truth. Up, God. They will be yes. men of honesty, of integrity, oh God, yes. of loyalty. That Father yes, God, God, as they stand and as they move, they will move in your sync, in sync with you and in your yes, timing. God. Father, whatever yes. it is that you are doing in this season, I pray, Lord God, that you will not do it without them, but raise up a standard amongst the male generation. Oh yes, God, from God. the raise eldest to the youngest, Lord. my God. I'm asking you to call them back into a place of greatness. Call them back into the priesthood, my God, where they are walking and leaning and understanding that you are the author and the finisher of their faith. I'm asking you, oh God, that you will uh, stir up uh, our God and excitement in their spirit. Give them visions. Give them understanding. Give them ideas. My God. And help them, Lord, provide the tools for them to implement these ideas. Give them yes. strategy. My God, that yes. they will speak the thing. That you will raise them up to be in places of government. Ah, oh, My God, that they too will make decisions. Parliament. Oh God, in, in the councils. Lord, put them in high places where they can change circumstances and situations. That Lord, the people will not suffer. But Lord God, I pray that today, Lord God, as we cry out on behalf of men, oh God, even in the marriages, that they will stand yes, as Lord. husbands, as providers, protectors, as keepers, oh my God, remain yes. in Lord to I their one wife, yes, loyal to their children, raising them, Lord God, according to your word. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, bless every husband right now. Give them the mind of Christ to love, yes. oh God, their wives as you have loved the church. Father yes. God, that they will understand that they are at the forefront and they are the head of the house as long as they are lined up according to the word. Oh God, remember every father. Oh God, yes. some of the children don't have access to their fathers, different, different homes, breakdown in relationship, marriages, our uh, circumstances and situations, our uh, fathers that have abandoned their children or are not oh, allowed God. to see their children. I pray, Lord God, that you would bring back unity, bring back oh, a union, God. bring back a cry in their spirit yes, as fathers, God. that they will know that they are obligated. Oh God, they oh, have, God. A, oh, my God, they have a responsibility to their children, to, oh God, to their seed and their lineage. Lord God, yes, to bring God of separation, the curse of broken family and broken home. I pray, Lord God, that you will raise them up and teach them how to love their children, how to yes. counsel them and to grow them in the right way as fathers here on earth. Father God, locate every missing father to every home now yes, in the God. name of Jesus. Locate them, Lord. This father. In the name oh, of God, Jesus, to release them. To Lord God, them. as we are crying out for the men, oh God, we come against every gun crime and knife yes. crime and robbery yes. and things that come to deter our yes, men. God. That yes, they God. feel the need to go a different route uh, because sometimes they're trying to do it of themselves, hustling Jesus. and think it's a good thing for provision. But bring them Deliver back to our the men, God. God. Deliver Let them, them know God. that you are Jehovah Jireh, their provider. That Lord oh, God, whatever God. they need, you will supply. You said that you are their shepherd they shall not want and father i'm asking you that you will help them to put down the guns put down the knives the drugs oh god whatever it is that comes but the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy and he's oh, taking out god. the men are oh, like nobody's business so it was back in how uh, when when pharaoh sent the commission to kill all the boy child we noticed that yes. it's a generational thing and the men are dying out but lord today i'm asking you that you will Mighty immediately god. we serve an immediate oh, eviction god. notice to the enemy to take his hand off our men of our boys, of our males in the name of Jesus and I pray Lord Jesus. God that you will cover them under the blood, raise them up Lord, plant their feet on solid rock ah uh, oh my God, give them good company, give them good mm. peers, that Lord yes. will speak good things into them, that would yes. stir them back, oh God to the way of life, oh God Holy that they God. will create in them a clean heart renew yes. a right spirit within them my God, yes, give God. them oh uh, my God, give them a soul experience Experience. Shine yes, the God. light and stop and them in their tracks, God. God. Bring Hallelujah. them to their knees. Where, Father, all they see is you. Father God, all they want is you. Because you are the one who is able to keep them from falling. Father God, remember every brother. Oh God, every son. Oh God, you know the titles yes, of our men. Oh God, I put them all before you. Father yes. God, I pray that you will bless them educationally, emotionally, mentally. Oh, oh God. God, we come against Visit every them, mental God. damage, every 
every mental oh, scar that some of our yes. men have gone through. Uh, some of the things they have seen in their childhood. We break every curse, every we generation against the power of Jesus in our name. families Hallelujah. Now, uh, in our communities yes, now yes. in the name of Jesus in the and name I pray of Lord Jesus. God that you will prevent them from going downhill but raise them up my God raise to them stand up, God. to be prophets yes. to be kings to know yes. that they are oh I God they are blessed God. in their going out and in their coming in help Hallelujah. them to understand that there is greatness within them and I pray Lord God that you will activate every gift activate mm. oh God their giftings within in them that they will yes. shine bright Father God, I pray that Lord, wherever they are, any male, every boy that may even be homeless at this time, I'm asking you, oh God, that you will yes, open up window of opportunity, provide home, provide food, those that are hungry, oh God, those that are, are roaming from place to place. Mighty I pray, God. Oh God, that you will give them an abiding place. Father yes, God, that God. you will, oh God, help them, Lord God, that they will get back to the place where there is help. Lord, you will provide a Thank source you, of strength for them, that Lord God will, oh God, accommodate them my God to yes, get them God. back on their feet provide jobs and opportunities yes, oh my God in, in, in uh, advancements I pray Lord God that you provide promotion oh God finances that Lord God they will stand as men in the community in the in their countries in their cities in their homes that Lord God they are able to fulfill what is required of them Father God I'm Hallelujah. asking you oh God that you will take full charge. Oh, yes. mighty Redeemer, as I put them and I call every one of their names into their hands. Lord God, yes. you know the men that are tied, uh, that are connected to this platform and that are connected to us in this world. Oh God, yes. you, no matter where, from uh, young age to old age. Father yes, God, God, I pray that, Lord God, that you will do it again. Send do a revival, again, my God. I'm asking you for a movement, Lord God, that will call the men, our uh, God, from an unconscious state, that they will arrive Rise, ah, oh, my Hallelujah. God, that they will awaken, ah, uh, by God, and stand up in their rightful place. Oh, God, yes, God. hiding There's behind the back, the bring them yes. from the back to the front, my God. Yes. Elevate Hallelujah. them now, oh, Glory my God. God, lift them up, mighty Redeemer, yes, out of God. their slumber and help them, oh God, to look to you that they will not be overwhelmed in their circumstances mm. or in their situations. But I pray, Lord God, that you will do for them, oh God, just as you have done for others. Father God, help them to understand that they are above and not beneath. Mm. Help them to know they are the head and not the tail, that they are overcome. They are victorious. They are strong. They are wise. Oh God, that they are not limited to their circumstances. Oh, but if they will lift their faith and that they will, oh my God, continue to look to you. Help them to keep mm. their eyes fixed on you, oh God. Oh God, to deliver speak. Men, God. Uh, give them words of wisdom, uh, words of counsel. Oh God, words of love and not of bitterness. Uh, give them Hallelujah. a heart. Come to their soul, blessed Jesus. Ah, uh, my God. God. Hallelujah. Out. Oh my God, everything that has broken down around them. I ask for restoration, revive, Lord restore, and replenish them tonight, oh God. Oh my God, and help them, oh God, that they will rejoice, that they will look to you, and that they will give you all the glory and give you all the praise, for you are the God that reigns over their life. Father, bring them back uh, from wherever they are right now. And Father mm. God, I pray that you will do it again. Remember the young brother on youtube Thank my you. god uh kamoy uh the name comes yes. back to me i pray lord god that you will reveal yes. him yourself to him i yes, pray lord god that you will set your angels Touch charge on my mighty lord, god when the enemy yes. comes in to whisper in his yes. ears or in his spirit yes. to tell him something god. else i pray lord Far god that there will be a barrier there will be a repellent let your blood be a repellent to every male's ears that they will hear only the things that are good for them and not yes. what is negative i pray lord God, that there will be a repellent of your blood over their eyes, that they will only see the things of you and leave yes, the negative. God. Oh Hallelujah. God, I pray that you will filtrate their spirit, everything that they have learned that is not of Hallelujah. you, my God. Cleanse it out of them, break it out of them, and Lord, replace it uh, with joy, with peace, with love. Ah, uh, my God, the fruits of the spirit. Help them to have temperance. Help them, my God. Ah, uh, my God, as you structure them, build them again, my God. 
Blow yes. breath into them again, mighty Redeemer, that Lord, Hallelujah. they will come back uh, to the source. Uh, they will remain connected to the source. Uh, that Lord God, as they abide in you, you will abide in them. So Father, yes. we lift Kamoy up before you. I pray, Lord yes, God, God, wherever he is located, Ready whatever part Kamoy, of the world, Lord, I pray, Lord he God, is. that you will be with him. Lord, that you will, oh my God, right now, that you will open Hallelujah. the heavens and it will rain and pour upon him right now uh, in his circle of influence. Oh uh, my Hallelujah. God, he is in his time. Family. Oh God, in his lineage to come from generation to Mighty generation. God. Yes, that Lord. Lord, these men will be men of valor, men of oh my God, of good report in yes, the name God. of Jesus. Name uh, of that Jesus. no weapon that is formed against them will prosper, but that they will be men of to, uh, the future, men and boys of tomorrow. Lord God, I pray that you will do it for them, Lord. Yes. We are crying out for the men. We are yes, crying God. out for every male. Yes, for God. Every boy. Father Deliver God, you mail, God. Them, Hallelujah. You take them right now, Jesus, yes, and bring God. them up, my God. Hallelujah. That they will fall with you, and they will know that you mm. are with them. You promise never to leave them or forsake Mighty them, God. God. Hallelujah. Their confidence in you. Reassure them, Lord God, that Hallelujah. you are with them, my God. Give them a sign. Give them a, oh, my God, create wonders Hallelujah. that will bring their mind back to the place where you can minister to them. Oh God, download, oh God, your word in there their hearts and help them, oh God, uh, my God, to be able to stand, oh God, and claim the, and know that Hallelujah. they are victorious. Uh, Lord God, the, your Bible, the, your, the song says that when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. And Father, when they are feeling overwhelmed, oh God, or they're feeling whatever the situation, help them to look to you, oh God, for you are the king who reigns and rules, not temporary, but permanently. And Father, Father God, when they come into that place of uh, existence with you, all will be made possible. All will be all right because, Lord, you never fail. And, Father God, what you cannot do does not exist. And, Father, we lift every male before you now. As I Hallelujah. tell you, thanks, oh God. Reinforce your edge of protection around them. We draw a bloodline around every yes, male God. right now, oh God, that, Lord God, that they will come to fruition and they will not, oh, Lord God, we come against premature death. Oh, Hallelujah. My God. Yeah, yes. over every male in the name yes, of Jesus. God, yes. We pray for long life, uh, my God, yes, with God. Uh, with mental capacity, with health and strength, my God, that they Hallelujah. are functioning. Oh God, every limb, uh, my God, is working order. Every sense is in a working order. We decree yes. it and declare it now. Lord Jesus, we come against every malfunction. We come against, yes. oh God, everything that will cause them to feel uh, or pain or ache. Lord God, any ailment we come against it now. Anything that will Jesus come to cripple Christ. them from being able to be the men that they need to be from being, oh my God that will come to delay them from being the men or the husbands, the fathers oh God, the brothers, the uncles the aunts, the, oh, why, oh my God, yes, uh, the God. uncles uh, Lord, you know the titles that they carry, but whatever it is my Lord God, God that will uh, hinder them from fulfilling, we come against every stumbling God, block, purpose. we come against every obstacle mm. in their way, Lord Oh God, we pull it down in the, in name, the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Oh Hallelujah. my God, they will not be deterred. They will not be distracted. But Lord Hallelujah. God, I pray that you will recreate in them clean hearts. Renew their minds. Help them not to be conformed to this world. But Lord God, that they will, oh God, hold to your unchanging hand. Keep them in the hollow of your hand, oh God. That Lord God, as they begin to worship, oh God, as they begin to open their mouth and praise you, Lord God, you will fulfill all their heart's desires in you. So, Father, I thank you tonight for every male, oh God, on this platform, uh, every male that is connected to us, uh, whether sons, husbands, brothers, uh, fathers, whoever they are right now, I'm asking you, oh God, that you will extend uh, your love to them all. Lord, uh, don't leave any one of them untouched, but touch them all right now. Uh, my God, send fire to every belly, to every mind, to every spirit, uh, that, Lord yes. God, they, those who have wandered afar, they will come back uh, to you. And those that are in the fold, you will enhance them. Oh God, giving them more yes. power, more understanding, yes. more knowledge and wisdom that Lord God, they can fulfill. Oh God, what it is you have called them to do. Father, you said that they haven't chosen you, but you have chosen us. And Father, as your chosen vessels, I ask that you will fill them up now 
oh God, as we lift them up before you and place them at the forefront, oh God, I pray, Lord God, that you would touch them minister to them as we tell you thanks for each and every one of them right now father god i pray in jesus name amen and amen. amen hallelujah can we open our mic the name of the Lord. hallelujah ah, bless oh, the name god. of jesus hallelujah oh, my god you are all hallelujah bless the name of the lord Hallelujah. Men, 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 men
Release them from homosexuality and transgenderism. 
release them from homosexuality and transgenderism. Let them know them, please. Release them. And know their true identity. Let them know their true identity in the name of Jesus. Them true identity, how you make them. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Release them right, God. Release yes, them out. Release them. So many of them are trying to hold on to hold them. Fire. The spirit, Lord. Fire. 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 Every fire of God, the fire of God, we and burn it out of them. That is the of our man. Every spirit. And burn up every spirit. Every immaculating spirit will bind it and cast it out. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Every yes. immaculating spirit, the blood of Jesus is against you. Let go, women. Let him go. Let them 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 be men. Let them stand up as men. Hallelujah. Wake up a morning time. All them is digging out them and me go. We are released to by the power of Jesus. Release them from the revival. Release them from the gun. Release them from sexual promiscuity. And yes, infidelity. Yes, fidelity. Release oh, them yes, from infidelity yes, and sexual yes, promiscuity. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release Release the men them from common law. When them call about common law, husband and common law. I release them from, from the jealous God. mentality. Yes, release them from the jealous mentality. They call it jealous mentality in a Jamaica. Release them. Let them work. Release them. Yes. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. That yes, and we, and we curse the spirit of laziness, the men who yes, don't want work. We come against the spirit of laziness. Release, release them from the spirit of laziness. Laziness. And our work. We release them from, we release them from laziness. We release them from scamming. In the name of Jesus. Release them from the scamming. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And infidelity, God. blood of Jesus, against that. Jesus. My God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Release, release our woman. Jesus. We release our sons and our our no, nephews. deliver we them. Release. Some of them have the prison mentality. They don't wear belt and the pants. They drop below them. Bottom of your under underpants. Release them. Release them. Release them. them. Release them. Release Jesus. them. Mighty God. Release them. Jesus. The enemy Jesus. is trying to destroy our men. Destroy them, mighty yes, God. Three of them jump out from JOTC, mighty God. Jesus, please, them. Jesus. God, we are the deliver them. God. Put an edge of protection around them and save yes, them. Lord, protect them and save God. them. Save Where them life the for the soul sake. They are the weeping woman, mighty God. The woman that will Jesus. weep, the woman that yeah. will cry out on the behalf yeah. of the men. Here we yeah. are, Father God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you. Bring deliverance to them. Hallelujah. Keep them back, strong backbone. Them not jelly back fish, men. Mm. We want men with strong backbone. Yes, Lord. That will stand up and declare you like the apostles did. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, good. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Holy Spirit. Jesus. Thank you. Reap enough men, harvest enough men. Oh when you go on the platforms, is you look, you see a amount of women in the churches, few men. When you look in the choirs, few men. Jesus, Jesus. It's like women are taking over the men's role. Lord God, I never saw your design. It. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Thank the Lord for today. Ah. 
We bless the Lord for Pastor says. Jesus. Um, Jesus. The time out to come and bring the undiluted word of God to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We Thank pray you. that God will fill her up. Amen. We pray that God will cover her. We pray that God will, will bless her family. Minister up to them. Let there be no luck. Let there be no nothing broken, nothing missing from their life. For God, you are the king over their life. Jesus. Put a mantle, a bloodline around them. Be that fire around them, God. Amen. God, she come out and she bring the word. She come out and she pray and she intercede. We know the enemy is mad. But Lord, we thank you that the angels of the Lord and Chevron about past this morning and her husband yes. and children. Yes, Lord. In the name we of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that no evil shall befall them, neither no shall any plague come near their dwelling place. No evil. I pray, God, that her offspring, her <laughs> son and daughters, Almighty God, will be for sign and wonders. They will be taught by you, Lord. Mighty God, I pray the spirit of excellence over our children. Yes, Lord. I pray you provide for whatever they need. Jesus. Father, Amen. we ask of you to bind Winston and small together with love than cords that cannot be broken. Let nothing, God, come in between them. Oh, God, may they put you first and put you as the center of their life. Bless her ministry. We pray for expansion. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Father, it's a wonderful thing when a husband supports his wife in ministry. Jesus. It's late. Him could have gone in bed. Jesus. He Amen. But he is up. He was up waiting on his wife. Online with a wife taking care of the baby. Cover him, Lord. Build him up, Father God. Strengthen him, Almighty God. Use him, God, for the glory and honor of your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we say thank you today for the word. We thank you that you are our king. When, when I sit down right here, so mighty God, and hear the woman of God, I couldn't even keep up with her from writing. Bless God. But one thing that stood out to me, God, nobody can vote you out. Nobody can be chosen. Nobody can be chosen. If we have a God like that, if we have a king like that, believe us, if we have a king like that who is sovereign, my God, we are to fear him, reverence him, love him. Jesus, Jesus. Your God is our king, is my king. Hallelujah. I am in royalty. I am Hallelujah. royalty. My yes, father Jesus. owns all things. I will not suffer. We will Hallelujah. not suffer. We will not beg for bread. That's the our Lord right. is place. our provider. The Lord is our keeper. The Lord Amen. is our strong tower. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Say, Oh, yes. Understand that place. even when the two teeth come back, yeah. <laughs> yes. I never yeah. even when the enemy are trying to bother me come again. Lord, yes. I do that. My God, that touch that mouth. Stop me. Touch the mouth, My God, oh, is king. Uh. My God is king, and him now shut me up. Mm -hmm. My God is King. I'm real over every affair of my life. Mm -hmm. You real over this Amen. temple. Jesus. What a word today. Father, we give you the glory. Hallelujah. Father, we give you the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know if Kamai is still over there on YouTube. But come on, if you are still on YouTube, I I I, I want you to link me up. Hallelujah. Thank you. Daddy, pray, miss pray for me. It's Denzel Edward. 
If you are still there over there on YouTube, please look me up and send me an inbox, Denzel, Denzel Edwards. And, and, and inbox me so that I can put you on to a mentor, somebody to mentor you, a male rather, to mentor you. So you can hook me up by way of a messenger. Send me a message. Denzel is your name. And we will indeed help you. That's what we are here for, to help you. And I and you once you write that, I believe that you are seeking help. And we are here to help you. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. It's 5.30. Now we are closing. The woman of God has to go to her bed, attend to her family. We just want to bless the Lord. Can we just open our microphone and say, bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Come on, just bless her, Lord. Lord. Bless, bless her, Lord. 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 Bless her, Bless her, Lord. 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 Bless Jesus. In the presence of the Lord. I believe God. Pastor Simone have tomorrow as well to bring the word. I don't want to get herself in a two day, but she was right. Bless God, because this is number two, part two tomorrow afternoon will be part two of this message. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The king who rules, who reigns and rule in the kingdom. And believers, this is deep. deep. I, I, and the question is asked, whose kingdom are you in? <clears throat> whose kingdom are you a part of? And who is the king that is reigning and ruling over your life? These are serious questions that we need to find ask yourself. What kingdom are you a part of? We are a part of the kingdom of God. Bless God. So let us let us seriously, let us intentionally. Me lay down today. I was talking to the Lord, you know. Me really late today. I was really communing with the Lord because there's answer. There are things that I need answer from God. We are in a place right now that we need to see the evidence. We need the evidence. If we are in the kingdom of God, we, we, the evidence will be there to show. Let us be true to our king. <laughs> in Jesus' name. When you suggesting, so you can you just close us out? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father God, hallelujah. Thank you for this word. Deep, deep word. And this question, Lord, which king is reigning in our territory? Oh. Which king is having lordship over us? Mighty God. I thank you for this word. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. And mm. so much, so much. We would not stop tonight if we were to go through all of these nuggets. But we thank you, Lord, for your woman servant. Father, we thank you for a wonderful afternoon in your presence. And Lord God Almighty, as your woman servant has spoken, Lord, I thank you for blessing her, for filling her up again, and for empowering her and as we understand, Lord, that she has a part two to do, I thank you for preparing her for the next segment of this ministering. Lord, I thank you for everyone who logged on today, YouTube, Facebook, Zoom. I thank you for your people, mighty God. And Lord, for those who came on and realized that there is more to life than just getting up and breathing. We need to be connected to the king 
who reigns forever and ever and ever, who king, whose kingdom never ends. We need that connection today. Lord God, when we get connected, we need to stay connected. Hallelujah. Father God, I ask God that you cover every one of us, everyone under the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Hallelujah, Father God. Cover everyone under your blood. And as we leave from here, mighty God, I pray that you'll help us, Lord God Almighty. Jesus, to go meditate on what the word is saying, has said to us, is saying to us right now. So that God, it can sink deep down in our hearts, Lord God Almighty. And so that we can be true kingdom people living by kingdom principles. And so, Lord Jesus, we just ask you to continue to bless this platform, bless Sister Nelly, and bless the management team, and bless every brother, every sister, every person that has that is a part of this. And sometimes they just happen upon the, the link and they come on. Bless them also. Lord Jesus, right now we pray that the Spirit of God will rest heavily upon everyone. A spirit of wisdom and understanding will be upon everyone. A spirit of counsel and might, hallelujah, will be activated and rest upon us. Oh God, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And we look to you, Lord, for that spirit of discernment as we go on our journey from day to day. We give you our power, praise, glory, and honor. And ask you, God, to dismiss us with your choicest blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just Hallelujah. before we go, Mama Avis, uh, Mama Avis, just before you said and make your declaration, if you are there, um, just quick reminder, believers, we are in today is the 9th of April. We're in 9th of April. Right? We are in the 9th of April. Bless God. And so we want by, let's say, the 15th, the middle of April, right? Oh, oh so April of 30 days. So we want by the 15th or the 16th of April, we need some funds to come in for the push prior conference. We need some more funds before the final. We have another third payment and we want that which we lock down. We need to really get some funds in. So if you are coming to the conference, if you have paid on some money, Whatever you have, please let us have it so that we can move ahead with the conference. Remember, the conference is June 21st to the 23rd, $350 double occupancy, um, $885 US dollars for the one day entry, which would have been the Saturday. Bless the name of God. So if you're not going to be at the, for the three days, the two nights, then you and you want to be at the one day we want the money in total the 85 us we're not taking it in two parts for that one we want that in full the 85 dollars the equivalence of 85 us dollars everything is quoted in us dollars so we want that 85 dollars if you are coming for the one day um yes and i think that's it Anything else, Minister Jason, Sister Melissa, Sister Carly? I don't think so, sis. Um, no, I think that's it. Okay. I will have to make the next deposit by the 26th of this month, so we need all the funds in. Right. So the next, I was trying to figure out when was the next deposit. The next deposit. 26th of April. 26th of April is our next deposit. Remember, it's a five-star hotel. Bless the name of God. And uh, it's a very nice place. Glory to God. And uh, we just want to make sure that everything is copacetic. 
<laughs> is in place. Bless the name of God. And we are ready to go. Mama Avis, over to you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the, the spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. I love you all, and there is nothing you can do about it. Amen. 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 We love you too. We love you, and there is nothing you can do about it. Everybody, have a good evening.